Most photographers know they need to charge more. It's just scary to increase prices. Will I still be able to book clients? Am I worth what I'm asking? Where can I find clients who will be able to afford this? I'm answering those questions and more on today's episode. Hey, boudoir photographers. Are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn, and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business, working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there and welcome back. I'm sorry I'm a day or two late on this episode. It has been crazy. It's Christmas week and I just want to go ahead and apologize, but here we are. So we all want to make more money, right? And if we can make it doing something we love, even better. I know I've told you I used to photograph sessions for $25 to $50 a session back in 2013, 2014. Can you imagine if I wanted to make photography my full-time career charging such low prices? At $50 a session, I would have to photograph 1,000 sessions to replace my dental hygiene income at the time. It's not even possible. Even if I charge $250 a session, I would still have to photograph over 200 sessions a year. And that's not taking into account any business expenses. When I break it down like that, it's a little easier to see how and why you need to charge more per session, right? And most of us photographers know we need to charge more. It's just scary to increase prices. Will we still be able to book clients? Are we worth what we're asking? Where can we find clients who will be able to afford this? And I know that we've all asked these questions to ourselves. So I know you get it now. The secret to making more money as a boudoir photographer is to charge more, but actually doing it, that's where it gets tricky. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to break down the steps to actually charge more per session. By the way, as a boudoir photographer, I really think that we have it easier than other types of photographers. Most of our clients see boudoir photography as a luxury. They expect to spend more money. They want to spend more on someone who specializes in boudoir photography. So at least it's easier to justify our prices, but that doesn't mean it's any less scary when you first start increasing your prices, right? So let's talk about how to make the transition to making more money so much easier. The first step to make more money as a boudoir photographer is to understand what you actually need to make to run your business. Most photographers bring home 30% of their total revenue. So to figure out how much money you need to make to run your business, you need to work backwards. What I mean by that, we need to start with your salary goal. This is where a lot of photographers go wrong. They hear the big revenue goal, let's say $100,000, and it's, it sounds really glamorous and cool to be a six-figure photographer, but they don't realize what their actual expenses are, what they will pay themselves, what they even need to do to bring that in. So instead, let's just talk about what you need to make per month. Maybe that's to replace your nine to five. Maybe that's to supplement your family's income. It really doesn't matter, but we need to have a goal of what you want to make per month so we know what your total revenue is. We only want to build goals based on actual data. That's the type of goal that's actually reachable. So let's say it's $2,000 a month that you need to bring in. 2,000 divided by 30% is $6,666 per month or $80,000 a year in total revenue. The second step to make more money as a boudoir photographer is to create a price list that will help you make the money you need to make. So we know that you need to revenue $80,000 to pay yourself $2,000 per month. The next step is to create a price list based on the number of clients your schedule can handle. There's math involved in this, but for simplicity's sake, let's just say that you have time for five clients between your kids' activities and your family responsibilities. $6,666 divided by five clients means that you need to average $1,333 per client. You're probably thinking, okay, that sounds simple enough, Tracy, but what do I do with that number? What we need to do is create a price list that will help you make those sales for each client. Thankfully, as a boudoir photographer, most clients expect the IPS type of sales model, which by the way, IPS is in-person sales, and that does make it easier to sell albums. Honestly, IPS is the best way to make money as a boudoir photographer or any type of photographer. Not saying that you can't make money as shoot and burn, but shoot and burn is more of a volume type of business most of the time. And unfortunately, volume is not going to give you the freedom that you wanted when you started your business. From my experience, shoot and burn is the fastest way to burn out 
in photography. So I want you to consider switching to IPS as quickly as possible so you can start living the way that you want to. Okay, so back to that sales average that we needed. We need to create a price list to help you reach that $1,333 sales average. And there are three main types of price lists in photography. The first is a la carte where you'll sell each type of photography individually. The second type of price list is collections where you can create collections that your client will want. And that's a great way to increase your sales average. Most of the time photographers do a combination of a la carte and the collections so they can see the value in purchasing a collection. And then the third is build your own collections. And I actually think this model is one of the most complicated ways to sell. So I have never recommended it to photographers at all. Hey, I write a newsletter every week where I cover photography, business, marketing, strategy, industry happenings, client wins and celebrations and so much more. It's just for you and you can get on the list right now at rebrand.ly slash TLC newsletter. I'll also link it in the show notes. Now the third step to more money as a boudoir photographer is talk about your pricing with confidence. In the last point, we talked a little bit about the types of price lists. The thing I want to say before we jump into talking about confidently selling your photography and confidently talking about your pricing is from my experience, most photographers sell more confidently especially as they are just starting out by starting with an a la carte price list. As they gain more confidence in what they're charging and gain more confidence in giving their pricing, they will be able to eventually add collections. But early in business, I really recommend starting with a la carte, making sales for a few months, and then we can talk about adding collections. Now let's talk about when a client inquires. The first thing they're going to do is ask how much you charge. And it's not because they're trying to price shop necessarily. In all honesty, it's usually because it's the easiest way to start the conversation. Most photographers get offended by this question, but I want you to look at it as an opening to sell yourself and your photography rather than an annoying question that you have to answer. Now, I want to be honest with you. It is scary when you go from charging $100 to thousands, especially the first person you have to tell your new pricing to. So let's talk about some ways to start talking about your pricing more confidently. The first thing I want you to do is practice talking about it a lot. The more you practice and say it out loud, the more confident you're going to sound. Some of my coaching clients increase their prices and just jump straight to the price they need to charge. That's great. Go for it if you feel like you can. Or you can gradually increase your prices by, let's say, $100 every sale so you can work up to the prices you need to charge. Some find a comfort zone and then increase their prices when they sell their top album. It's honestly whatever works best for you. The most important thing is to sound confident when you're talking to potential clients about booking. And even more importantly, during ordering sessions. You really don't want to get to the point where you're like, okay, The total is, oh gosh, it's $2,500. That won't send a confident message during the ordering session, you know? The fourth step to more money as a boudoir photographer is, of course, to book more clients. So obviously, to make more money, you need more clients, right? Well, the good thing is I have a very simple three-step process to make this happen for you. The first thing you're going to do is nail down your ideal client. You've heard the saying, if you're talking to everyone, you're talking to no one. Well, we want to make sure that you're talking to a specific person who's going to pay the prices that you need to make and who you actually enjoy photographing. To find this person, you need to really think about who she is specifically, age, where she works, what she does for fun, where she does business locally, even what she wears and what she'd want to be photographed in in your studio. Knowing these things will make your marketing so much easier. The second step is to build a website that will easily convert leads into clients. I call this my high converting website, and there's a lot of strategy behind it. For one thing, you need to make it obvious what she should do once she lands on your page. Obviously book a session. If she doesn't book a session though, then she would subscribe to your email list. But the other thing, your website should answer questions she needs answered before she books a session. It's like a journey that you'll take these leads on, a journey to convert them into clients. And when they're clients, you know that you're going to give them the most amazing experience. And step three is to put yourself in front of your ideal client everywhere she turns. She needs to think that you're the only option for her. I like to break this into short-term tactics and long-term tactics. Short-term tactics could include things like a bridal fair or women's show, marketing with other businesses, networking events, and even collaborations. 
The good thing about these short-term tactics is that even though they are a bit of a hustle up front, they're also really great for long-term strategies as well. Long-term tactics are things like SEO or search engine optimization, blogging, and email marketing. You could even add social media in there. These long-term strategies can be annoying up front because you feel like you're doing so much work while seeing no results, but eventually you start booking sessions like crazy because you put in this work up front. Now, if you get one thing from this episode, I want you to understand how important it is to set the foundation of your business so that you know exactly what you need to price your sessions and products, as well as exactly how many clients you actually serve. I have a very simple spreadsheet that will walk you through how to know these things for your business. It's called the full-time formula and it's the foundation for a successful photography business. Use this spreadsheet to plan your entire year. And with this spreadsheet, you're going to know your total revenue, how many clients you need each year, your schedule, and your sales average goal. This information will help you create a price list to literally hit your goals in the coming year. And all of it is taken care of automatically with the formulas in the spreadsheet. So what's included? You get instant access to this TLC full-time formula plus a six-minute instructional video. And if you want access, click the link in the show notes. There's actually two links. One is specifically for one niche of photography and click the multiple niches if you photograph multiple niches like weddings and boudoir. This spreadsheet is only $27 and it's going to help you create a business the way you want to create it. It's literally the foundation of a successful photography business. Click the link in the show notes and get access today. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. Please be sure to rate and follow so that you never miss an episode. They drop every Thursday and they're always full of super actionable information for you to apply right now in your boudoir business. Until then, make your next shoot your best shoot.